Okay. No, well, if we're going to ban people from the Middle East, can we start with the world's number one hypocrites, Saudi princes who moved to L.A. to do all the un-Islamic stuff they can't do back home? <laughs> I'd rather have a hundred Syrian refugees next door than Prince Abdullah bin Douchebag. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> New rules since last week. It was revealed that Winnie the Pooh is a girl, not a boy. Winnie must go all the way and come out as a lesbian. <laughs> come on, it's obvious. Her face is always buried in someone else's honey pot. <laughs> See? I scared them from booing me. It worked. <laughs> New rule. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Indonesia. I realize you're not a rich country, but you know your environmental policies are bad when people look at this river and think, great, where am I supposed to shit now? <laughs> Neural, stop trying to make prostate massage a thing. <laughs> this is the new Nexus Revo prostate massager, and if you find it at all intriguing, then you're a very different person than I am. <laughs> Nexus calls it the next step in male pleasure technology. I call it $133 worth of no thanks. <laughs> the closest I get to this is every couple of years at the doctor's office, and not once have I thought, I could get used to this. <laughs> Uh, don't keep looking at me when you do your... I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not looking at all. <laughs> New rule, pizza boxes have to stop being racist. Look at this cardboard hate crime. It suggests that every Italian who cooks pizza has a mustache and dresses like Super Mario. <laughs> it's 2015. High time pizza boxes reflected the guy who actually cooks my pizza. A Mexican. <laughs> And finally, new rule. I know the Constitution says there can be no religious test for holding office, but sorry, you can't get your hands on the nuclear launch codes if you own a painting of yourself with Jesus in a bathrobe. <laughs> this is a painting that hangs in Ben Carson's home of him and Jesus apparently enjoying a spa day. <laughs> So yes, you can believe whatever you want and still run for office, but it's got to work the other way, too. As a voter, it's perfectly fine for me to say, uh-uh, Dr. Giggles, <laughs> because you, sir, are a clear and present ding-dong. <laughs> now, we here at Real Time have had our fun with Ben Carson, who seems like a decent man, so I try to overlook some of his, shall we say, unorthodox beliefs, like the pyramids are full of Cheerios. Or, <laughs> or when he said that prison turns men gay, when we all know that's the Bravo Network. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to put Now I know why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> but Ben Carson is a Seventh-day Adventist, a religion founded in the 19th century on Pastor William Miller's guarantee that Jesus would return to Earth on October 22nd, 1844. Spoiler alert, he didn't. <laughs> Which you'd think would have made the followers go, well, I guess that was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's like believing in the Wizard of Oz after Toto pulls back the curtain. But no, that's logical and this is religion. Seventh-day Adventists are obsessed with the world ending and refer to the world not ending in 1844 as the great disappointment. They're disappointed that the world still exists. <laughs> I don't have to agree with a politician on everything. We could disagree on abortion, entitlements, paid sick leave, the earned income tax credit, but the earth staying is kind of a deal breaker for me. <laughs> You know what my great disappointment is? That I live in a country where four out of 10 people believe we're living in end times and that the stupid media 
never asks Jesus freaks running for office two questions. Do you believe the world is ending soon? And is that a bad thing? <laughs> because I'm the opposite of an end timer. I'm a spend timer. I want to spend as much time as I can on this planet. And I want some planet left for the children and grandchildren who are always kicking the back of my airplane seat. <laughs> Politicians here love to talk about fundamental differences. This is as fundamental as it gets, folks. Lamar Smith is the chairman of the House Science Committee, and he's a Christian scientist, which means he doesn't believe in science. <laughs> he wants to repeal Obamacare and replace it with prayer. John Shimkus is chairman of the House Subcommittee on the Environment, and he says, don't worry about rising sea levels, because in the Bible, God promised Noah there won't be any more floods. <laughs> so what if the oceans are dying and we kill all the fish? Christ can make more. He's done it before. <laughs> no wonder nothing gets done in this country. How serious can people like this be about wanting to improve the future when they don't think we'll be around for it? A majority of evangelicals say Christ will either probably or definitely return to earth by 2050 depending on his schedule. <laughs> so why fix the streetlights if there's just going to be a big fight with Satan? <laughs> well, <laughs> why reform health care? Why wear pants? <laughs> ben Carson says he could, quote, feel God's fingers pushing him to be president. You know what? Tell God to keep his fingers to himself. <laughs> because we know where those fingers have been in every war in human history, from the ones he started in the Old Testament to the one that just played out in Paris. But just in case I'm wrong about the apocalypse and the end does come while we're off, let me make sure I say it now to all my fellow liberals, who I do really love. Merry War on Christmas. <laughs> and Happy Hanukkah to all of our agents.